kasal sa ka isang bad joy. Ano sa ano sa mga boys eight of for kana? Fresh egg. Hey guys, this is Jay's Eats, and today we're eating at Bat Choy House. So it's a Filipino food, and I think it's known for chicken in a sal, which I had last time at Seafood City, and let's get to see if it's better. And I think some bat choy. So yeah, I can't wait to taste them. <laughs> let's get into it. All right, got a meal here. Unlimited rice, na po siya. Hi, Philip, for rice, just like Some bat choy. Um, so it has some beef, some thick slices of beef. We got some pork rinds, I believe, crispy. And we got some noodles in here, I can't believe. And we got some green onions here, some egg. Yeah, yeah. I can't wait to taste this. This is some Ilongan cuisine in the Philippines, in Winnipeg. Let's <laughs> taste the soup first. Oh yeah, kind of clear and thick. You can taste that chicken stock in there, honestly. Okay, now we're gonna taste some. Oh, there's liver in here. All right, let's give this a taste once again. I don't know if I can get anything here, everything here. All right, let's taste some remaining of that. Taste it with this. get that crisp from that pork rind and then the noodles are flavorful because it's submerged in this soupy sauce in here a bok choy yeah look at that mm. not bad for me Chicken in a sal. I just uh, slice this. Mm, not bad. Let me taste this again. All right, taste the skin. Not bad. You can taste a bit of that in a sauce, sauce in there. But it's not really like sticky. Alright. Okay, let's taste it. Garlic rice. There was so there's some toasted garlic in here. Gotta put the sauce here. It's a bit too dry. Uh, it's, it's okay. Alright. You don't taste much of the sauce of the inner sauce? It's just a dried version of chicken in the sauce. But yeah. 
I want. And I had it's real, it's kind of oily. Oily because I put some sauce in there, I they believe. And yeah. Alright, last bite of the chicken I saw. It's okay. Mm. Not bad because I was really hungry today for dinner. So I didn't eat since breakfast, but now I'm eating dinner with the chicken. I'm really full right now. I hate a lot. Chicken and salt and rice and bachoy. <sighs> what a great way. All right, guys. The rating of the butter house is unfortunately gonna be a, a seven out of 10. And the reason why it's a seven out of 10 because the chicken, the chicken in the salt there was a bit dry. And the flavor wasn't my cup of tea. It had a lack of flavor in there. But for $10.95, I don't think it's worth the price. But I would probably eat them again only if I'm hungry, but not like for the delicious food. Like if I want for the best experience, nope. And also, the only thing I like about there is the bok choy. The bok choy is the noodles part that I like is the when you put on the soup it has flavor inside that noodle gives it more taste on it flavorful there also the those livery there and then the chicken stock you can taste it and as well the pork in there you can taste that crunchy and crispy but yeah, I probably ordered the uh, bok choy, but not in a while. And the, and uh, seafood city chicken in the salt is probably way better than bok choy's house chicken in the salt, in my opinion, because it has more taste and flavor and better price in there in seafood city. And yeah, that would be pretty it for this video. If you do enjoy this video of the bok choy house food review, please leave a like, comment for any suggestions and subscribe and guys i'll see you guys later and yeah bye <laughs>